Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also make sure you turn off the water supply underneath the sink. In this video we're going to show you how to change out the Gen Air refrigerator, water filter head and tube assembly. It's going to be a very easy repair and it's only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at ApplianceParts.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new water filter head and tube assembly. The water filter head and tube assembly is where the water filter mounts. The main reason you be changing it out is if the head is damaged and you're not getting any water flow, or the body's cracked and you're getting water leaking into the refrigerator. In order to change the part, we have to go around to the back of the refrigerator. Now that we're on back, we're going to put a towel down to catch any water that may come out. Then we have to disconnect the water supply line. We're going to use a couple half inch wrenches to loosen up this fitting. Once you have it loose, you can pull the water line out a little bit, just unscrew it. Okay, and get the water supply line out of the way. Then we're going to use the corner nut driver to take out the screw that holds the clamp and the water line on. Once you have it out, we're going to take the clamp off the line. And then we're going to use the half inch wrench and press down on this locking collar that locks the water tube into the water valve. Once you have it out, you can pull the tubes out of the holder. Once you have them free, we're going to follow them up and unclip them from the clip. And we're going to lift up on them so we can carefully pull this foam block out. Just kind of wedged in there. You just have to carefully grab it and work it out. Don't pull too hard on it, otherwise you'll break it. Once you have it out, you can set it aside and let the lines go. Now that we're back around front, we can open up the right refrigerator door and take out the water filter assembly. First thing we're going to do is put a towel down to catch any water that may come out. Then we're going to drop the filter down. All you have to do is push on the release lever, and then we can take the cover off. I'm just going to reach back and flex the left side so it comes off the pin. We can drop it down, slide it to the right, and pull it out. Then we're going to take the filter out. I'm just going to turn it counterclockwise so it unscrews from the head. Once you have it out, you can set it aside. Now we can take the filter head out of the mounting plate, except to release it from this little clip right here. So all you have to do is flex it so it comes down. Then we can pull the right side out. It's just a pin through a hole. We can pull the head and tube assembly out. Once you have it free, you can pull it off the refrigerator. Here's the old water filter head and tube assembly next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at ApplianceParsPros.com. To put the new one in, we're just going to feed the water tubes through the back wall. Once you have it through, we're just going to push it all the way in until the Head assembly is in the right spot. And you want to make sure the water lines aren't twisted going through the back wall. You can snap the head into the base. I'm just going to put the right side through its mounting point and then snap it in on the left hand side. Now we can put the filter back in. First, we have to take the bypass plug out. All you have to do is turn it, pull it off, then we can put the filter on. All you have to do is line it up with the head and lock it in. Once you have it locked in place, we can put the cover on. We're just going to line it up and put the right pin on first. Once you have that side in, you can lift the cover up and flex it over the left pin. Once you have it in place, you can 
lift the cover up and lock the water filter in. Once you have it locked in, we can close the door and go around back. Now that we're on back, we're going to lift up on the tubes and then we can put the foam block in. Just want to push it in, make sure it's all the way seated so it seals out as much air as possible. We're going to press the tubes down and get them into the first clip. Once you have them clipped in, we can fall the tubes down and push them into the holder. As you're pushing them in, you want to leave the one that goes on the water supply tube out a little bit. And then we can put the clamp on the water tube. We're just going to put it over the water tube. And we can push the water tube down into the water valve. You want to make sure it goes all the way in, seats properly so you get a good seal. Once you have it in place, we can put the screw in that holds the clamp. We use a corner nut driver to put it in. Now we can hook up the water supply line. We're just going to take the cover off the tube. Okay, and grab the water supply line and hook it up to the fitting. Get it started by hand. Once you have it snug, we can grab the two half inch wrenches and tighten it down. Once you have it tightened down so you get a good seal, you can push the water tube in. Now that we have the part installed, you can turn the water back on, plug the refrigerator back in, and make sure it starts to cool. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.